And I'm bringing you this video today to show you how you can mirror your iPad or tablet onto your computer to share in video conferencing apps like Zoom or FaceTime or Skype or whatever you're using for teletherapy. So I'm going to show you three different ways today. We're going to start with the built-in feature on Zoom. So I'm going to hit share and I'm going to choose iPad via AirPlay computer and then go on to my iPad and I swipe down from the top right corner to get the control center and then I choose my screen mirroring option to be zoom and then I just tap away from it and we've got the iPad with all of the apps so I can go in and I can use naming therapy or any of the other apps and you can see it on your screen and the person on the other end of the zoom call can see it as well and then they can annotate and use the arrow or spotlight to show you what they want to touch and what they would be doing with the iPad. Okay, clear it away, clear all drawings. So there's lots of different things built into Zoom that you can do, but now we're looking at the iPad screen. If you're not using Zoom, but you can share your screen, there's another way to do it. Use so I'm going to open QuickTime here. And from QuickTime, I'm going to choose File, New Movie Recording. And now what I'm going to do is connect my iPad to my computer with a cable and then select it on the little drop down next to the record button. So even though it says movie recording, we're not going to record anything. That's just what you choose. File, new movie recording, then come down here and choose your source. Okay, and so now, again, the, I can share this. I go into my video conference software, share my screen, choose the QuickTime window. So on Zoom, I would share QuickTime player. And now we can use our apps and we can talk about all of the different things in the app and do the therapy, again, with all of our annotation tools. Okay, stopping the share there, Ooh, overwhelming my system a bit with all this video while I'm recording. The third way, let's see, let's just close the QuickTime player, is using an app called Reflector. Now, Reflector is something that you have to buy. It's sold by a company called Air Squirrels, and you can buy this for Windows or Mac or both, and it's about $20 US. And you start up Reflector, and this will allow you to pair any device, Android, Mac, doesn't ma uh, Apple, doesn't matter. You choose screen mirroring, choose your computer, and then it's going to give you a code to type into your device. And this just authorizes it to pair. Seeing what I see on my iPad. So again, I swiped down from the top right, chose screen mirroring, found my computer, and now we're good to go. So now we can use all of our favorite apps for therapy, just as we would otherwise. Now, the important thing to remember is that you have control of your iPad, the person on the other side doesn't. So they'll have to tell you what to open or where to push or what their answer choice is if that's the kind of activity that you're doing. And that can actually be really good to use more language. She pushes her. So I am in Reflector right now. I'm going into my settings. I don't want to be full screen because what I have to remember to do is go back into Zoom and share my Reflector window so that the other person can see it. 
And now we have all of the tools of Zoom because we're sharing a specific window. Okay, so this will work, this Reflector app will work for Android to Mac to Windows, it doesn't matter, any device to any computer, but you have to buy it. QuickTime is only on Macs, and Zoom has built-in sharing for iOS devices only. So I hope that helps you figure out how to share all of your favorite apps for therapy on whatever teletherapy platform you're using or whatever video conferencing platform you're using to keep in touch with your loved ones who need extra therapy during this difficult time. Take care. Bye.